GM1 gangliosidosis, or GM1 for short, is a rare genetic disorder that progressively damages nerve cells primarily in the brain, spinal cord, and also other tissues. Researchers have classified GM1 into the major types of infantile, late infantile, juvenile, and adult, which primarily depend on the age when symptoms start appearing. All forms of GM1 are caused by a mutation or change to the GLB1 gene. This gene instructs cells to express an enzyme called beta-galactosidase 1, which breaks down fats and sugars in the lysosomes within cells. Often referred to as the recycling center of our cells, lysosomes break down and remove waste, allowing cells to function properly. But without enough of this enzyme due to a faulty GLB1 gene, waste builds up in cells and tissues and becomes toxic, leading to slowed development, weak muscles, and premature death. There is currently no cure for GM1. However, gene therapy is being researched to treat infantile, late infantile, and juvenile onset types of GM1. These three types are the most severe. Gene therapy aims to be a one-time treatment that slows or stops disease progression by delivering a working GLB1 gene into cells. Scientists know that viruses are good at getting into cells, so they have learned how to safely use this ability to get into cells as a vector or carrier to deliver the working gene. But don't worry, the viral genes are removed so only therapeutic genes are delivered. This is done using an in vivo approach, which means the treatment is delivered directly into the body. Here to explain more is Dr. Cynthia Tift. There are currently two routes that gene therapy treatment for GM1 can be given. Intrasternal, meaning injection at the base of the skull, and intravenous, which is into a vein. Once the vector is delivered, the working gene instructs cells to make the beta-gal enzyme, restoring how lysosomes function to remove toxic materials and prevent their buildup. The goal of gene therapy is to maintain or improve motor skills and daily functions to keep the child on their developmental path. Researchers continue to study gene therapies for GM1 in clinical trials to determine safety and effectiveness. For more resources about gene therapy for GM1, visit patienteducation.asgct.org.